What if how you think about being a YouTube creator was actually the thing holding you back? Brian G. Johnson! Brian G. here from BrianGJohnson.tv. And to grow on YouTube, stake your claim and amplify your message by subscribing. Click on the bell notification and you'll be on your way. Human beings are opinionated. Human beings judge. We form ideas, ideals, and rules about all kinds of stuff. And here on YouTube, some creators take this to extremes. And it's too bad because I believe it's actually holding them back. Number one is this idea of rules, what you can do, what you can't do, and etc. So many creators have so many ideals satisfying one's conception of what's perfect or most suitable. For example, B-roll. A lot of creators have these ideas about how you can use B-roll. Number one, you've got to film it yourself. Has to be your B-roll. You're not really a creator. And another ideal is that the B-roll has to be about what the video is about, what the YouTube creator is talking about. YouTube thumbnails, again, the same thing. Now it's interesting because there are best practices. And I think as we get started and we're learning, it makes sense to emulate, to understand what best practices are. But the whole idea about art is there are no boundaries. And on YouTube, the only thing that matters, the focal point, the number one thing is the audience. When you publish a video, if they watch the video for a longer period of time, you've done your job. Personally, I don't care where I get my B-roll footage from. All I really care about is how long my viewers, my audience watches, that's what truly matters. And I can look at my YouTube analytics and I can see clear as day that generally I'm doing a pretty good job. Another thing that I see getting in the way of so many creators is creativity itself. Oftentimes, creativity means we're in a new place. We're trying a new thing. We're trying to expand our skill set and we want to create something we're really proud of, like capturing the perfect time lapse sunset or sunrise, or filming from a new location. However, there's a price to pay for innovation. Oftentimes, by always striving to create something new or better, it slows us down. Quite frankly, this is why Casey Neistat went uh, daily a number of years ago. He felt his perfectionism really was getting in the way of the goals he wanted to achieve. So he went daily to really combat that and look what happened, totally blew up. Being creative is a wonderful thing, but if you want to grow an audience on YouTube, it's also really important to value those things that are most important. I film most of my videos here in the studio because it's simple, it's easy, I've done it a million times, and I can control my environment. However, there are things I can do creatively in the studio, like change up the lightings slightly. I can add different types of B-roll. I can do editing tweaks and so on. And this is how I focus on moving forward. It's been really powerful. So don't let creativity actually be the thing that gets in your way and slows you down. That is if you want an audience here on this platform. Now there's a secret strategy that I've never really shared on YouTube until I published that video. Check that out if you want to drive those views. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Click on the yellow B to the G icon and you'll do that and you'll feed a poodle. I've got two and they're hungry. I'll see you next time. You dig?